Hi, I'm Dr. Jeff Middleton. This is a video about a sweet woman that loses her ability to speak when she allows her head to go in any position other than neutral. We also found if she juts her jaw forward, it reproduces the symptoms too. All right. So the CT on the left, CT angiogram with venous phase. Both of these are venous phases. On the left, you're in a neutral position. On the right, your jaw is jutted forward. So it was good that just with jutting your jaw forward, it triggers all your symptoms, you lose the ability to speak, and the wheels come off. The beauty of that is that you weren't moving your head, and all we did was do that one movement. So here, just look at you from behind, look at the atlas and its relationship to the uh, surgical uh, correction that, or multiple surgeries that you had. Look at the distance between the atlas and whatever that implant is, I guess, and then look at it over here. So I was, look, I was looking for a difference in the vertebral arteries on the left and the right uh, because your symptoms are so significant when you, with the slightest movement of your head or jutting your jaw forward, I was thinking for sure the vertebral arteries are, are compromised. So here I'm looking at the artery there, there I'm looking at the artery there. So then I wanted to compare it and you can't even see it on the left and on the right you can see it. It seems as though your atlas goes forward and tilts up to the left. Your atlas does some funny movements uh, there. So what we did is we, I basically took an inventory of everything that changes when you jut your jaw forward. So here we have a look at you from the left. Here's another look at you from the left. Now I've already dissected all this and removed everything and put it back together. Uh, but I can tell you this, the uh, stent that you had put in for that uh, and trap jugular on the left. It, it, it lays down beautifully when you're in the neutral position. And by the way, I know that the stent was put in after you had these problems and you've had these problems for 13 years, so, and nothing fixed it. So, um, but I still wanted to take a, a catalog or an inventory of everything that moves. And you'll see how it, it pitches forward. So your left jugular pitches forward uh, when you jut your jaw forward and also when you move your head uh, and extension and Anyway, so I also looked at all the other structures in the neck and a lots of the structures move forward when you jut your jaw forward. So of course we're thinking maybe a recurrent laryngeal nerve is entrapped in there. Uh, I've seen that on other uh, where people have really large jugulars and, and that's what we look for. Uh, that's what we've thought in the past. Um, but you're, anyway, so that's not what we found on you. What we did find is that the front, or I'll remove this so we can take a look at it. All right, so here you can see the problem here. So this is the anterior aspect of the atlas. That's the anterior tubercle. Now then, that anterior tubercle is not supposed to be all knotty and big like that. There's a big old knot there sticking out. So uh, when the I've seen this on, on, a, on a tibia. As a matter of fact, when it happens to the tibia, it's very famous, it's called Os osgood Slaughters. So osgood Slaughters is, is when a, a ligament pulls away from the tendon or for, from the, the tibia and it causes this big old knot. So you have a big old knot like, like kids get on the, on the front of their tibia where this uh, anterior longitudinal ligament is pulled away from it over time. And the anterior longitudinal ligament is calcified over time. Uh, and then when I saw how, uh, let's just say you're vertically challenged and how tall your husband is, and you've been in the professional, you know, working on computers your whole life in a, an executive position, uh, I'm seeing you, I bet you've been looking up, just looking at, up at him and looking up at uh, so much. Uh, by the way, this anterior longitudinal ligament, it keeps you from going into hyperextension. It's the ligament that hold, holds this to the front of the skull and keeps the, the skull from going too far this way. Well, uh, so here's my current working diagnosis is that you've, you've been living like this a long time. You, you, you call, ha, cause like a, an, a, the bone has had to calcify because that ten, ligament's been trying to pull away. Ligament got calcified and you can even see where it used to be attached there. So this is an avulsion fracture, in my opinion, where this, this tendon or this ligament used to be attached to that now let's blow it up so you can see what I'm talking about. There it is. That, that piece of bone, there's a missing piece of bone that used to be 
attached to this ligament. So you had this compromised situation because you're always looking up, your head's always trying to go off into extension, uh, probably because of your, for your work and just because you're so short. Um, anyway, and then when you fell and hit your head, I would expect that's when this thing snapped off and that's when you found that you can't move your head in any position without losing speech and all kinds of crazy stuff starts to happen. That's the end of part one of this video. It's possible it's a superficial anterior atlanto occipital ligament. For more information, you can go to our website, lordsmedicalgroup.com, or email us, help at lordsmedicalgroup.com. Have a blessed day.